I kid you not, this is probably going to be one of the shortest videos I've ever made. I'm going to get right to the point. I'm not going to be doing any comparisons of my own because this is actually where I'm asking for your help. Um, how does BlackBerry com compare with Windows Mobile? Because I have the Voyager. Um, I'm considering the jitterbug, but I still have yet to fully appreciate the limitations. So if in the end I cannot stomach having to transfer all of my texting to an email address, which is what I'd end up doing, and having my iPod sync every 15 minutes, which I think would really eat out the battery life of the iPod a lot quicker, obviously. Um, so if I decide against the jitterbug, the phone that I'm going to get, most likely, is going to be the BlackBerry Storm. And the reason is because I cannot stand Windows Mobile, I cannot stand Microsoft, but I want to know, for those of you who have had both devices and have had a fair amount of experience with both devices, which do you think is superior, BlackBerry or Windows Mobile? And for those of you who have Macs, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe a BlackBerry can sync with a Mac right off the bat, can it? You don't need any specialized software for that. Um, so I'd like your input. I'd like a video response, if possible. I'd like some you know, showing me side by side what the two environments are like. The reason I've been anti-Blackberry for a long time is because I have yet to see a, a way to enlarge the icons. Everything is too small to make to for me to make effective use of it. I can see it, but having extended use of it would be a bit of a problem. Also, I think the keyboards are too cramped. So, yeah, Blackberry versus Windows Mobile. Your input, please. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening, and I look forward to your input.